Speaking of Prime Minister Richard Sunak made this announcement a couple of months ago. The first is we are going to increase the charges that we have for migrants who are coming to this country when they apply for visas and indeed something called the Immigration Health Surcharge which is the levy that they pay to access the NHS. A lot of people have been asking questions to know when the government is going to effect this increase in visa and NHS fee. Now this question has been asked by both people who are currently in the UK planning to switch their visa and also those who are planning to move into the UK on different visa categories. And it's exciting to know that today, the 15th of September 2023, the UK workers have officially announced the changes in visa fee and the list of different visa categories and the changes in the visa fee has also been stated on the UK um, gov.uk website so if you're looking at applying for any visa category in the united kingdom come 4th of october 2023 this increase in the visa fee will be effective so if you plan to apply for the, the uh, for different visa in the uk in or outside the uk then you sure do want to watch this video till the end as i will share with you some of the changes and the differences in the previous visa fee and the new visa fee uh, you know uh, increased by the uk um, government now one of the uh, you know of the changes that really caught my attention really is based on the visa fee for the students um you know visa so if you're going to come to the uk to study um there's always a change or there has been a change in the amount you are required to pay for a student visa if you're applying from outside the uk compared to if you're applying from within the uk so so many people um you know switch their visa or so many people uh, decide to do a second masters in the uk after completion of one masters for different reasons either um, you know to elongate their stay in the uk or for various reasons basically so people um, who are applying in the uk pay a different amount from people are applying from outside the uk now based on the new changes if you're applying outside the uk before 4th of october 2023 um, you only pay 363 pounds for your visa fee now based on the increments this has increased by 127 pounds so we are applying for a student visa outside um, the united kingdom you are now required to pay 490 pounds this same changes also affect those who are applying as child students these are people who are under the age of 18 and are planning to come to the uk to study there's also an increase in the visa fee come october 4th 2023 so basically this is now same for people who are in the uk so those, for those who are in the uk that are planning to apply for visa categories they are also required to pay 490 and for most on the uk government websites um, it still remains the same for those who are applying for the uk that are required to pay 419. now another visa category that has really been affected by this increase in the visa fee you know um, imposed by the uk government is the visitor visa honestly coming to the uk on a visiting visa is now super expensive not extremely expensive to be honest but you know for people who are applying itself for those who are applying for nigeria and considering the currency you know rates at the moment the exchange rates at the moment it's really a lot to be honest but anyway so these are some of the changes as you can see on the screen so we're applying for a visiting visa you know for up to six months uh, as of now it's still 100 pounds but come 4th of october you're now required to pay 115 pounds for a visiting visa for up to six months however if you're applying for a longer stay which is the two years visa initially the pay is 376 pounds but from october 4th 2023 you're now required to pay 400 pounds now for the visiting visa for up to five years it's 670 and now there's been an increment of over 101 pounds so from october 4th 2020 Thingy, you're now required to pay 771 pounds for a five years visiting visa and also same thing ap uh, applies to um the 10 years visa i think the only one that is not affected is people who are coming in on the visiting academic or who are coming in as uh, for private medical treatment the visa fee still remains um the same however some other visa categories are not really been affected uh visa categories um like the transit uh, visit visa the visa for the purpose of joining a ship or aircraft so the code of entitlement single entry visa to replace a biometric resident permit transfer of conditions and all of those things those particular visas the fee still remain um, the same now moving to work visa some of the work visas in the uk are also being affected so if you're coming to the uk on visa categories like innovator founder visa the 
visa fee has increased by 155 pounds so as of now you pay 1036 pounds to get an individual visa from 4th of october 2023 you're now required to pay 1191 pounds so with start up visa the fee has increased by 57 from 378 pounds you're now required to pay 435 pounds so even for their super exciting global talent visa the visa fee has also increased from 167 pounds to 192 pounds and some other visa categories or work visa categories are also being affected like the tier one visa category for entrepreneur in uh, investors even for the skilled worker visa that i am on the visa fee has also increased so we're going to apply for a skilled worker visa from 4th of october 2020 this has increased from 625 pounds to 719 pounds so it has been at about 94 pounds um, increment so different visa categories as you can see on the screen i also put a link in the description of this video so you can check out the link and also read through the different increments so you can plan financially if you're planning to switch your visa anytime um, soon and also aside from the student visa the work visa and other visa categories some of the premium services are offered by the home office has also been increased so if you're applying for a priority visa this is the only um you know uh service that actually has a negative value for the fee change so before if you're applying for a priority visa uh, service for settlement um you're required to pay 500 and something today now from october you're now required to pay 500 pounds that's only that's only one that has a decrease every other one is actually an increase for super priority that you can get your decision the following day um from 956 pounds you're now required to pay 1000 pounds if you're planning to apply for a visa through the super priority um, visa now aside from student visa work visa transit visa you know uh, priority services the other thing that has also experienced an increase in its fee is even applying for nationality in the uk so after spending thousands and thousands of pounds payments for this for that all through your stay in the uk for you to even get the British citizenship the fee has also increased so if you apply applying for um, naturalization initially you're required to pay 1250 pounds now from october uh, 4th 2023 you're now required to pay 1500 pounds for british citizenship that's about 250 pounds increment and also if you're applying for uh, nationality registration as a british citizen adult you're required to pay 1126 pounds now from october 4th 2023 you're now required to pay 1351 pounds this about 225 pounds increment now even for the children for people who are you know for children that are born in the uk and have spent a couple of years and are applying to you know applying to apply for british citizenship and um, there's also an increment of over 202 pounds on the amount required for them to get citizenship in the united kingdom now just share with you your thoughts in the comment section what you think about this increment is it amazing is it something that it's of good benefits to you know uh, immigrants here in the united kingdom obviously it's really an, a good initiative in my own opinion because the idea is for the uk government to be to get enough funding to manage cost of living in the united kingdom and also to be able to you know reduce the burden on the tax being paid by taxpayers in the united kingdom however you might have a contrary opinion share your thoughts in the comment section and if you find this video resourceful click on the like button if you're coming across my channel for the first time please hit the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family and my channel subscribers thank you guys for being here i really do appreciate you guys so this will be the end of this video and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you